Hello and welcome back. This time I'd like to show you how you can use the three rig repair tools that come with the smart magnet rig panel. These are analyze rig, edit magnet targets and roll over rig info. First of all, to be able to analyze a rig, we need to load the current rig. If we choose from the menu analyze rig and the rig is intact we get this message here saying congratulations there are no problems found okay so how about if i create a key and delete a bunch of elements from the rig and then do another analyze rig as you can see this time the command popped up a message giving us some indication where potential problems might be. Let's try and do some other kind of damage to our rig. Instead of deleting elements, let's delete some magnet targets. As you can already see, the panel itself, which is listening for stage updates, indicates that there are problems here with, with these magnet targets. If I run the analyze rig command again, we can see a much more detailed report with the exact frames and locations where the problems are. So basically this tool works as an addition to what you would normally get as visual information from your smart magnet rig panel. If we scrub the head to frame one, we can see that the only problems here are the missing magnet targets. If we go to frame 10, you can see that these elements are also missing and this is visually reflected in the panel okay so now let's look at a different kind of problem the arms and the head are children to the upper torso inside the torso we have a turnaround and we have different magnet targets that match the different angles in this turnaround so if we go to the previous frame and snap the elements, the elements snap correctly, which means magnet targets are positioned properly. But just for the sake of this demo, I've created a bit of a mess with the magnet targets here. If I snap, you can see that obviously elements snap to wrong places. This is because the magnet targets inside are obviously misplaced. One way of fixing this, of course, would be to just move them around. But I'd like to show you how to use the specialized magnet target tool called Edit Magnet Targets. You choose it from the menu in the Smart Magnet Rig panel and it pops up this dialogue here. The dialogue shows us the metadata that is written invisibly in the individual magnet target. With these buttons here, with the arrows, we can cycle, as you can see, through the magnet targets in the current frame. And with these buttons here, we can jump back and forth through the keys on our timeline. So if we look at this first magnet target, this is the ID. I can just copy it and go to the next key, paste the correct ID instead of the wrong one and click apply. I'll go back to the previous key 
go to the magnet target for the neck in the front view where it worked correctly. Copy, switch to this magnet target, paste it here and apply. And finally, I'll do it again for the third magnet target. Go back to the previous key, copy its ID, go to the next one, choose the target that I want, paste and apply. Now if we go outside and do smart magnet joints, everything snaps back in place. So we fix the IDs instead of moving them around. Same thing if, for example, a magnet target is accidentally deleted and we decide to just create a new one, shift plus tilde key, we create a brand new magnet target and by pressing tilde it will snap to its proper position but it will not work until we give it an ID and since there are other places where we can grab the ID from we don't need to link the element again which can potentially create a mess so from the front on I'll just select this one go edit magnet targets copy its ID go to the next key cycle until I get this one as you can see currently does not have any metadata I'll paste the correct one press apply and close and it will just work fine the third tool called rollover rig info allows us to work at character level and to transfer metadata from one symbol instance to another one on the same layer either in the case if the metadata is corrupted or is wrong or if the symbol instance is just missing any metadata. So if I select these legs here and unlink them in this frame, these links will be broken and as you would know legs will not belong to the rig anymore they lost their metadata and they wouldn't snap back if i go to this frame which is healthy i can choose these frames go to rollover rig info and choose to roll over to the right so it will work over a specified range of frames to the left or to the right of the current selection okay roll over to the right press ok we get the confirmation and if we go here The information has been written successfully over these instances again and we can snap them back. So the rig has been repaired. Now if we would like to just uh, play a little joke for example, I can grab this element and put it here to the left of the head and then go roll over rig info of that one element to the right and if I say OK and go here 
delete this one the head will snap there because it will it has the metadata of the upper leg and it snaps to the magnet target of the upper leg another situation when you might need to roll over some rig info might be such a scenario where you need to create a wrapper around a bunch of symbols using timeline block to symbol so we call this uh, arm loop imagine we need to have a loop for the arm of some kind so now inside here we have the three elements and we can animate them looping now let me position their edge point properly first so first of all I'll need to match the edge point with the edge point of the upper arm and then I'll need to grab this thing the whole thing and put it on the layer of the upper arm so we'll transfer the rig info of the upper arm to this whole looping thing and it goes like this select this frame and go roll over rig info to the right one key successfully transferred so now this whole thing will snap back to its own position and now inside here we can have some kind of looping animation And on the outside, of course, we can move it and do other things. So I think this pretty much covers our rig repair tools. Thanks for watching.